student nurse for today. Okay. So for today's video, I'm, I'm gonna do the segment 3 which are the lower and upper extremities and the cardio. And also the segment 4 which, which is the abdomen. So the equipments that we needed are stethoscope, alcohol, and a set of gloves. So first, do the proper hygiene. Wash your hand using alcohol. Then wear the gloves. So good day sir, I'm my number one student nurse for today, so can you please say your name and your birthday? I'm Julian, my birthday is June 19. Okay sir, thank you. So first, I will inspect the extremities of the patient. Then, as I expect, his extremities, there seem not to be swelling and no lingers. And now, palpate the radial pulse of the patient. Do it in the other side. And now check the capillary and press them down on the nail bed. And then check the skin turgor and pinch it and see on how it goes back. Do it in the other side. And now, sir, can you please do this? So, I don't see any abnormalities in your hand and finger, sir. And then, next, palpate the brachial arteries, which found in the bench of the arms. Do it on the other side. So as I check his brachial arteries, the two sides of his brachial arteries are normal. So now I'm gonna test the muscle strength of the patient. So now I'm gonna test the muscle strength of the patient. So sir, can you please squeeze my hand as hard as you can? So that's good sir, so can you please stand sir and hold my hand and push me. Then now I'm gonna check his finger hand and put my hand under his elbow. So do it in the other side. So when I did the assessment, sir, do you feel any anything? No. Okay, sir. So, okay, sir, so now I'm gonna check your grip. So can you please arm forward and close your arm eyes in 10 seconds? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, <laughs> 8. Okay, sir. So as I observe your hand, and um, it's not drip upward, and you did it well. So, so next I'm gonna check the patient's pulse under the knee. So the poles under his knees are blood equally. So next, let's palpate the ankles of the patient. Then do it in the other side. 
other side. So when I palpate your uncle, sir, do you feel anything? No. So let's also check the capillary feel of his feet. Then press them down. Okay, so let's proceed to the caribou. So, sir, can you please breathe normally? Okay, thank you. So, the patient's breath are perfectly normal. Then, then now, ask the patient to flip his hand. Can you please flip your hand, sir? Okay, thank you. As I check, I don't see any abnormalities of this hand. So now, sir, can you bring the other hand and make your nails stick together? So, okay, sir, thank you. So the patient's fingernails are not too big and he can do whatever I said. So again, bring patient's arm in front. Of you or in front of her and check the patient's arm temperature so please sir can you please arms forward do it in the other side Thank you, sir. So now I'm gonna auscultate the patient's pulse neck, and while I'm doing doing it in the patient, the patient should breathe and hold. So, sir, I'm gonna check your pulse using the bell, and please breathe and hold. So please breathe and hold it. Okay, sir, thank you. So, as I check his pulse neck, so he can breathe normally, and I also hear the pulse. So, ask the patient to breathe and hold it again, and assess the character and volume of parotid pulse. So, can you breathe and hold it, sir? And do it in the other side. Okay, thank you. Next, assist the jugular venous pressure. So, can you turn your head right on me? Okay, then I will palpate the parotid pulse. Do it on the other side. Okay, thank you. So, do you feel any pain in your tummy, sir? No. Okay, so I'm gonna press your tummy, sir, so... So, please turn your head back. Okay, thank you. So, can you please lift your arm off on me? Okay, the other side. Okay, thank you. Next, assist the trails across all forms bumps. Okay. So, next. Okay. Ascultate the first part. Okay, thank you. Next, the 
second bulb which is the tripus paid bulb which located at the core intercostal space so let's also take it And we're gonna locate the pulmonary bulb which located in the second intercostal space. So now I'm gonna locate a erotic bulb which located in the second intercostal space at the right internal end. Then repeat the procedure using the bell. Now, check the erotic murmurs where will get louder with expiration. patient's crackle so I can hear the crackle sounds so all in all sir as I inspect your cardiovascular you have no curricular stigmata or cardiovascular disease your pulse was regular and palpation and you have no thrills during the auscultation so you had a normal and first and second heart sound with no avid sound so all in all sir you're normal. It's all normal. So thank you for the day, sir. Thank you. So first, inspect the abdomen of the patient. So sir, I will inspect your abdomen. So, sir, I'm going to ask two questions. When was your last bowel movement? Yesterday. Okay, yesterday. Thank you. So, do you have stomach pain, sir? No. Okay, so as I inspect the patient's abdomen, it is flat and round. So, we're going to lessen the abdomen of the patient. So, we're going to use the diaphragm of the stethoscope. So, we will start at the right lower quadrant. And next the right upper quadrant and next the left of the quadrant and also the left lower of the quadrant
So let's let's repeat the process using the bell of the stethoscope. So next, we're gonna listen the IO to artery, then to the right side and the left side. palpate the abdominal rotation so there are two types of palpation which are the light palpation and the deep palpation so first we will do the light palpation so this is the light palpation Thank you. 